Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and hide this head here just for now. Uh, so let's hit L for left view. So right click and hold. Oh yeah, my mouse really sucks. So that's pretty fucking upsetting. Uh, control Z to get rid of that. Okay. Right click, hold, let go. So, so now we got our shape. So now what you want to do, open up schematic and find these bones. I believe it could be either one, but I go with anim object B. So we have our shape selected. Now what we want to do is hit this align tool, click on it, and then select anim object B. Actually, it's, uh, it's down here, so it's going to pop down here. So anim object B. Align position world X Y Z and let's do uh, let's do pivot point to pivot point. Um, actually, that doesn't matter. Hit apply and. Okay, now um, go back up here. I don't know why that always gets stuck there. So <laughs> highlight anim object B. Now animation, constraints, position constraint. Click on that shit. You have this little tool that pops up. Select your object that you made. Again, this doesn't have to, the object you make doesn't have to be this stupid thing. It could be a box, a triangle, a cone, whatever. Uh, so anyways, right click on your object. Boom. Now it has a uh, position constraint. Almost done. Animation, constraints, orientation constraint. Click on it. Left click. I think last time I said right click. I meant left click. I'm sorry. Um, left click again on your object. So now you have an orientation constraint. Orientation, rotation, position, position. Oh, and to be on the safe side, click on keep initial offset. All right, almost done. So now, You want to select this and yeah okay so with that selected go back to your align tool and now select this box right here I believe it's called uh, BIP camera there you go so X Y Z and pivot point to pivot point. Yeah, definitely that pivot point to pivot point. And apply. And OK. You have your torus there. And bit camera. And what you want to do is select link or connect. Left click on pip camera, drag it to your object, to the torus. So now we have our camera ready to go and we can animate. So um, basically you just make an animation how uh, 
man. If I can, uh, let's do that. Yeah, anyways. So click on your little controller, drag your camera wherever the fuck you want to drag it, key it, and let's go over here. And key it. Boom. Just made an animated camera. Sort of. Not really. Not yet. It's not complete. Um, when you can get fancy, you can uh, open up the curve editor. Uh, let's see. That is frame zero. Let's do rotation. To add some keys. Sure. What that's gonna do? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna make us fucking sick. Let's uh. Yeah, you can use this curve editor to kind of get like a like a shake cam kind of effect. But all right, I'm getting overboard, going overboard there. <laughs> Uh, so to kind of test what it's going to look like, sort of, hit C to get the camera perspective. Oh, and you know what? Let's do this. Let's click on this one here, and let's hide that. There we go. All right, so C, hit play. You can see how it's kind of going to look. Looks pretty bad. But anyways, this is just for the sake of uh, showing you how it gets done. All right. So, graph editor, track view, dope sheet. Click on that. Um, what's this here? That's the curve editor. <clears throat> Go to your schematic view. So that's this one right here. Left click it, click on root. So you have root available. Transform notes. Uh, these are the default uh, annotations that are in here. Uh, right click on one of them, or yeah. Uh, so what you want, and you want the first annotation to start at one. If it's if you have it on zero, it's not going to work. So the first one you want path, tweener, start. Go to the next annotation and you can set that to two, time two. So the second one, start animated camera dot anim object B. So, and we can delete that one there. Okay, so the last one, path, tweener, end, and C. 
set that to the second to last frame. So we have 100 frames, set it to 99. So now we're ready to export. Close it. Go to content tools, export, uh, right to platform. Put cam. Run configuration. Now we have our tut cam. Copy. I'm going to fall out for data, meshes, actors, character, animations, and then you can make a new folder or you can just drop it straight into uh, the animation folder but you probably don't so paste that minimize it go to the creation kit gameplay animations uh, select any animation uh, right click on it, insert sibling ID. This is the name that you will use to call it in game using the play idle uh, console command. Anim event, uh, you can do dynamic activation loop, edit animations, find, find it open. And you can actually set the cams as a loop. It, it plays exactly like a like an idle um, animation does. Okay, so that looks fine. Yep. Yeah, we're good. Close it. Save it. Minimize. And uh, let's test it in game. All right, so now we're in game, ready to test. Open your console with the uh, tilde key, or however you say it. Um, select your character, whatever, left click on it. But I already have my character selected. And then play idle, name of the uh, animation that you added in the uh, creation kit in our case. Put cam, hit enter, close the console, and voila. Notice the knees are bending, just proving that uh, you can animate the character in conjunction with the camera. And that's it, so I uh, hope that helps the 10 people who will actually use this and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see some pretty badass stuff um, or you know just for your own personal use whatever I'm rambling now all right thanks for watching